In my hand here is an Anlov digital microscope. It has a seven inch LCD screen. Right now I'm looking at pins off of an old CPU here. It can take 16 megapixel photos or 1080p video. This is a standalone unit, but if you prefer, you can hook it up to a computer and work it that way. It came with its own battery, an 18650 lithium ion. It came with a micro SD card to record images. It came with a wireless remote, so uh, I don't have to touch this in order to snap a picture. And it's pretty cool. I'll check it out on Thrifty AV. Quick disclaimer, the folks at Anlov sent over this digital microscope as a review sample. If they want this microscope back, they can have it. I am not being paid for this review and all opinions in this video are my own. But this thing's out of the box. Let's back up and check out the unboxing. The Anlov digital microscope came in this plain brown cardboard box here. Here is the uh, instructions for it and it shows the 7 inch digital microscope here. The model number is DMR07. Got a little cloth here. This is obviously part of the mounting system. This is for powering the microscope and I'll figure out what this is for. And here is the LCD. Let's go ahead and peel that plastic. There appears to be a card in here already and it is a 32 gigabyte card. This is a USB-C cable and another USB-C cable. And this appears to be a remote control. And you pull that plastic so that the battery makes contact. And here is another cable. It says HDTV to mini. And this appears to be the base. And I'm going to read the instructions and assemble this thing. This shows how to install the bracket on the base. And I got to remove the lens cap and then the lampshade should go on. And with the lens cap removed, this is just a twist lock. And this will go back on like so. I'm going to go ahead and use this cloth because I see a little speck there. This piece appears to be an extension arm. If I want to get my microscope up higher off the platform, the extension arm would only be in use if you're way up here instead of wanting to put things down here on the platform. All right, I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the USB C here and then plug this into power on my power strip. And now that I have it powered up, I can hit the power button. And I get a splash screen with a flower on it. And I'm going to go ahead and mount the microscope here. To focus the microscope, you just turn it right here. And you can get uh, whatever you're looking at in focus. Now I can go out further away from whatever I'm looking at and adjust the focus. Of course, the zoom will be different the further away you get from whatever you're looking at. Now I'm using the built-in lights from the microscope housing, but there's two external lights here and I want to talk about hooking those up. On the back there is this USB output and plug in to the USB-C down here on the base. Now I have light and these two lights are significantly brighter than the LEDs built into the the housing right here. I'm now going to take this extension arm off and bring this uh, microscope closer to the base. With the extension unattached I can set this microscope right against the base and get a really tight shot of what I want to look at here which in this case is a $20 bill. There's Andrew Jackson's eyeball. I can also hit OK on the remote and it took a picture of Andrew Jackson's eyeball. I can go in here and switch from photo to video to freeze. I can choose between a four megapixel and a 16 megapixel photo. 
If I'm capturing video, it can be 1080p 30 or 720p 60. As far as navigating the menu, arrow to what you want to do. You can also do it on the remote. Hit OK once and then I can scroll through the various menu items and say adjust the contrast here. I can go up and down on the contrast. To get out of it, hit OK again and I can adjust different things on the menu. I can also take images that I've recorded and zoom in more on them. This is of course a digital zoom. Right now I have a handheld gaming system under the microscope and I'm looking at the individual LCDs. Uh, I want to go ahead and pull these lights out of the way because they are really acting more or less as, as uh, extra light. I don't need that light when I have uh, the screen here. Now I can go in tighter. I'm going to get in a little bit tighter here and then adjust my focus. Now here's a case where I want to shoot video, not a photo. So in the menu, I want to switch from photo to video. I want to make sure that my focus is nice and sharp here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and record. You can really see the individual pixels here on this little game system as this Dig Dug character is running around back and forth. In an earlier video, I got a comment about looking at the pins on a processor. And uh, that, that's really very easy to do. Now the pins on this uh, CPU are pretty long. So either you have the pin tips in focus or you have the pin base in focus, but not both at the same time. The analog microscope is a standalone device, but if you want to, you can hook this up to a computer here and it says USB MSDC press OK to switch to UVC. I'm going to hit OK and now it says setting up a device. All right, I now have launched the Windows camera software and I can either do a video or I can take a picture. When I have the Anlov hooked up to the computer, I see both on the computer and on the seven inch display of the Anlov. So it does not disable the display on the Anlov when you hook it up to the computer. Now the other computer mode is MSDC. I'm gonna hit okay for that. And the MSDC mode will let you uh, access the JPEG files that you took or the uh, MOV video files that you recorded uh, with the microscope. I want to have a little bit of fun with this microscope. It is February. There was just an ice storm, but this is a sage leaf that I pulled off of a garden sage plant. Check out the little hairs on the leaf and the fine detail on that. And of course, if I roll the focus, uh, I can uh, get different uh, little hairs in focus. I kind of want to point out why it's so important to have these adjustable lights here. I'm looking at a stainless steel scouring pad and you can get a better idea of what these individual strands look like if I can get the light set just perfectly on these stainless steel strands here. And you can also get an idea of how sharp those strands really are on the scouring pad when you zoom in this close on them. Just to show you how powerful this microscope is, I swatted a fly a while back and here is an image of that fly's wing. You can see the intricacy of the structure of that fly's wing up close. Now I want to talk a little bit about the battery here. It does screw down and there is an 18650 already in here. So you do not have to provide your own 18650 battery. I like the fact that it is replaceable. So if this 18650 ever wears out, you can put your own 18650 in here. So far all the images I've taken have been shooting straight down at the platform. But if you want to shoot at an angle, you can adjust it. 
Now this requires a 12 millimeter wrench or socket here, uh, but you just loosen it up a little bit and you can uh, angle the microscope how you want to uh, using this right here. Personally, I found the seven inch display large enough, but if you want to output to a larger screen or capture the HDMI output, there is this HDMI jack here. It's a mini HDMI jack. Uh, it came with the proper cable that's mini on one side and standard HDMI on the other. In the past, I reviewed uh, this little toy microscope here. This is a USB microscope. But this Anlov has so much more. First of all, I don't have to hook it up to a computer because it has the screen built into it. The resolution is much higher. This is 1080p full HD and 16 megapixels on the still images. The stand itself is great. It lets you uh, put the microscope right over whatever you want to take an image of and these additional lights let you shine the light exactly where you want to to get the image that you want. Uh, this thing is a tool, not a toy. Uh, if you're interested in this microscope, uh, check my description for an Amazon affiliate link. Thrifty AV makes a small commission at no additional charge to you if you order through that link. If you enjoy this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons and members for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.